Jeddah was an ancient world with deep connections to the Force, ravaged by the Empire for precious kyber crystals before becoming the Death Star's first field test. However, following its destruction, Jeddah would become the site of a major battle once more. But why is this? <laughs> You see, following the destruction of the first Death Star, the Empire needed kyber crystals again to research new weapons and to begin construction on the second Death Star. Now at this point, Jeddah was a lethal and twisted world. The Death Star's blast had removed a huge chunk of the planet, causing huge environmental anomalies and had created a treacherous terrain. For this reason, combined with rebel intervention which had followed the Imperials here, the Empire dispatched Commander Kancha, who would oversee the operation. Kancha was a formidable cybernetic commander who punished his men fatally for their failings, and he had a plan on how he was going to get his kyber crystals, by enlisting the help of Queen Trios of Shu Toron. Now, you may remember Shu Toron as a volcanic mining world that attempted to kill Darth Vader in order to leave the Empire. However, this failed miserably, and Vader killed Trios's entire family, making her queen and an imperial puppet. Katja brought Trios with him, as her people had created a great dynasty through mining on a magmatic, hellish landscape of Shu Torum. The Empire's main target of intact kyber crystals was actually created by Saw Gerrera, and was an old cache that he'd built up to hide from Imperials during the construction of the first Death Star. However, this was now all to a tempting target. There are two different types of rebels on Jeddah at the time as well. The main force of the Alliance, including Han Solo, Leia, and Luke Skywalker, but also the remnants of Saw Gerrera's partisans. These were led by Benthic. Now, the two rebel forces did manage to work together, much to the partisans' discontent, and together they managed to fraught the Empire's first expedition pod. However, the real threat would come when the Empire responded with dispatching a continental class crawler. This was a city sized Shutoran mining crawler, slash starship, and was designed to rip through any landscape, extracting nearly all mineral wealth available. They were also more or less indestructible, able to deal with extreme heat and crushing blows. The rebels attempted to destroy it numerous times using air speeders and bombs, but it didn't scratch the machine. They needed to get inside. A small detachment of rebels did manage to sneak aboard and splice the security systems, and by doing this, they could get a ship close enough to board the crawler and drive it straight into the magmatic crater left behind by the Death Star's blast. Meanwhile, Luke dueled with the Commander Catcher and managed to use his proton torpedoes to disable the Commander's cybernetics. Meanwhile, Trios cornered Leia a blaster point. However, she stood down. Trios aided Leia in disabling the security systems and explained why. She secretly had hated the Empire for what it had done to her family and her world. She was nothing more than a puppet and proposed to become a secret operative for the Rebellion, sabotaging the Empire's efforts in hope of one day defeating the Empire. And Leia accepted. The crawler and majority of the Imperial presence on the world was lost, and the kyber crystals were secure from prying hands, at least for now. But what do you think of the Imperials' plan for Jeddah, and do you think Trios' betrayal proves that you can't rely on ruling through fear alone? Although she had appeared utterly loyal, she turned on the Imperials the first chance she'd got, and it cost them dearly. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, please remember to like, share, and sub, as it's really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy and tick the bell for regular updates. But most importantly, thanks for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed and learned something new, and I'll see you next time.